Kane with Sarah Kane Photography and I want to show you how to create the flowing um, train, the flowing part of the gown um, using Photoshop Beta AI. Now typically in a studio this would be a lot of moving parts to make this happen. You would need fans, you would need somebody else to help you um, lift the gown and drop it and make it flowy and take several pictures and then do a composite in Photoshop. Um, it can take a really long time. Thankfully, Photoshop AI is amazing and does it for you in a matter of seconds. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and grab your lasso tool or keyboard shortcut L and then you want to select the portion of the dress and then make sure you also get some of the background as well. And then you're going to type in here what you want. So I'm going to say long flowing blue sheer gown. Okay, um, hit enter and then wait and see what happens. Just a few seconds, AI is going to give you some options. Okay, so if we look up here, here are our variations in the upper right. This first one, I don't know, that kind of looks a little fake to me. I don't really like how that looks. Um, that's really pretty. Or we have this one. Mm, looks a little fake down here. Um, I did this earlier too, so I have other variations. You can keep creating new variations by clicking generate at the top. Let's see what that happens, what happens when we do that. And then I'll show you the first options that I have. Uh, very similar, you can see, but a little bit different. Uh, that bottom looks a little better. I could work with this using the liquify tool. That's really pretty. Actually, that looks really nice. Uh, that gives the gown a much different look. It's more sh uh, silky, but let's see the first options that, okay. I, I So when we come here, here's the first. That looks very fake at the bottom. That's pretty. I feel like I could do something here with just a little bit of liquify and I'll walk through the whole thing. Or we've got this one. I think I prefer this part of the gown. Um, now it's not doing the whole lift and you probably could keep playing with it. We'll try that in just a second if you really want a lot of volume, but I think this is just really pretty um, compared to the original, which is just like meh, or here we have that. Now, if you zoom in close, you can see right here, I don't, it might be hard to see on video, but you can see that there's a discoloration. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over here to the layer mask and I think I'm going to use my brush and I think it's the white brush for this one. We'll find out in just a second. Yeah. So the white brush, oh no, sorry. It's the black brush. So see how I'm painting back just over it. So that brings back the original background that I had. And then I'm going to come down here Make sure, see part of the gown, the old gown is coming back, so we're going to want to go back in there. Just use the white brush now. Make sure that's gone. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and flatten this object. I'm going to delete this section. Um, I do see a little spot right here I want to touch up. There's a little blue, and um, the background's a little weird right there, so I'm just going to fix that real quick, create a second layer get my stamp tool, just come real close, just blend that. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so, okay. All right, all right, so there we have it. I like to always save my work periodically, just in case you lose it. So let's just practice a little bit. I'm not sure what it's going to do because AI is so new and it's still working out some kinks, but I'm going to see if I can get this gown up even higher. So I'm going to come to the top here like this and just kind of grab that portion. And then I'm going to say the same thing, long flowing blue sheer. This looks a little more silky, but I said sheer last time, so I'll leave it sheer gown. 
Let's see what happens. Didn't do what I was hoping for, um, but you can see these are ways if you if there are parts of the gown that you like and other parts that you don't, you can always play around with it and fix it. So we're just gonna leave it right here. Um, one thing I do want to caution you with Photoshop Beta is that if you have two images similar to this, you are not guaranteed to always get the same result. So that could get a little tricky. Um, so just be aware of that. Uh, so thanks for watching. Follow my channel for more tutorials.